Hi, welcome to M4 Montessori. Uh, this is a very special video and the first of its kind, but I promise uh, we will do a lot like these in near future and we'll keep on doing that every three to three months, hopefully. Um, so what is this video about? If you remember, last time I had told you uh, that you send me your questions and I will answer. Now, I just have a handful of subscribers and I thought I will not get any questions. But I, ha I did get a lot of questions, quite a few actually. And it took me some time to segregate those questions because broadly they were in those broad categories. And uh, then I um, jot down the responses. I had trickled down questions which were very specific, asking for Montessori in a very specific area, which I will not be able to answer. Feedbacks of a particular Montessori school, which unfortunately I'll not be able to answer. It won't be fair. Um, some people did discuss about their experiences. It was great, but unfortunately I'll not be able to deal with that as well. This blog or this vlog, uh, this video is more about questions regarding Montessori schooling and I've stuck to that and I have uh, I think seven to eight questions. I have um, uh, topics I did segregate the questions into broadly and then I will be speaking about those. So here we go. The first question is, this is regarding the question about Montessori, great. My child is three years, two months, going to a Montessori since last year. Very nice. But she doesn't identify alphabets or it sounds yet and even numbers. She doesn't identify even one. Uh, I would like to learn basics of phonetics to teach her at least a few alphabets and words. How do I start about it? Thank you so much for your platform. Hello. Thank you so much for your question and you're most welcome. I want to reach out to more and more parents like that. Firstly, take a deep breath. There's no need to worry. See, in Montserrat, everything happens with, uh, along with the child's sensitive periods. As you must have uh, heard from your child's Montserrat, no two children follow the same pattern. So stop. Um, a. Stop seeing what other children in other schools are doing. 1. B. A child enters a sensitive area for uh, language and, uh, sorry, for uh, writing and for numeracy between 3.5 to 4-ish. So numeracy comes later. That's where we introduce sounds to them. So you still have a few months before they introduce sound, they are introduced to sounds and still more months before they are introduced to numbers formally. I did mention an age, three and a half to four, but it can happen anytime between that, before that, some children even after that. So you need to wait and let the child take the lead. Please follow the child, that's very important. You do not need to learn phonetics only if the child is struggling and the school suggests that you have an extra uh, phonetics training or uh, do at home then only then which is a very rare case it happens it doesn't happen with Montessori children they get trained very nicely uh, by the looks of it by what you've said the school sounds that they are pretty much doing good so please don't get confused and any questions if you have any specific questions ask the school directly we are there to help you and don't get confused don't get worked up she's just 3.2 years she will get there so just relax and enjoy the learning journey of your child right i hope i answered all your questions yes that's what you asked thank you Next is, hi Falak, thanks for your posts and videos. I have put my son in a Montessori close by. Now we don't know when school will reopen. Yes, we do not. We are going through a lockdown. What all activities can I do with him at home? He's two and a half years old. Something that will help him when he goes to Montessori as well. 
So there, uh, something that will help him when he goes to Montessori uh, is uh, something that you have to check with school. Ideally, we'll not suggest anything. Uh, but yeah, considering his age and everything, it's best do a lot of exercises of practical life, um, spooning activities, sponging, um, um, sorting. Uh, then uh, you can give him chandan paste, sandal paste, if you can uh, get that. Or chapati rolling, perfect. Uh, um, make him help you at home during the chores, during your uh, cleaning, dusting, cleaning the mirror or the table or at um, in uh, the kitchen he might help you. Uh, plants, watering plants, uh, sorting socks or clothes based on, based on color, all these activities you can do. There are loads of activities. I'll try to, there's a very beautiful PDF which uh, suggests uh, exercise of practical life activities for children. Um, uh, so ideally, uh, yes, uh, that would be quite a good handout for you. Uh, I would link that below. But um, why not uh, connect with the school and ask them any specifics and they'll, they'll answer. Most of them will only suggest EPL activity, exercise of practical life activities, basis the child's age, but go ahead, talk to the school once they'll answer. And it's a couple of months. If you're in Bangalore, we are thankfully, um, um, April and May is anyway holiday academic year ending. So uh, we might miss a couple of weeks hopefully maybe even longer but yeah stick to the exercise of practical life activities thank you so much okay so the next question is i would like to know how the montessori system takes children through reading skills as you might be aware we teach uh, sounds to children along when we introduce sounds we introduce with sandpaper letters which is a very sensorial activity because they trace it's a they take the tactile impression their uh, movement is involved they and it's a multi-sensorial activity when the child starts building words with mobile alphabets or short mobile alphabets they do uh, blend or put sounds together simultaneously also but if you talk that's not uh, that's just blending of sound or putting sounds together reading in Montessori happens after uh, the child's developed writing then reading happens and in Montessori we focus on total reading which means the child should be able to put the sounds together and also understand the context of the text that he or she has read or written and read aloud so we focus on comprehension and understanding of the text as much as uh, the reading ability of the child. And with phonetics, uh, when taught right, which in Montessori it happened, um, the child very easily transitions from writing to reading and then both activities go together. Right? But generally we think that reading comes before writing, but uh, because uh, for us, it's not just blending sounds. It's an act that the child needs to, it uh, is a more mature activity reading. So it takes a little more time. But a Montessori child, 99% of the time, uh, they um, are very beautifully into get into reading and writing because of the continuous step-by-step -step progressive activities that we do. So from sandpaper letters, we have a lot of, along with that, we have a lot of phonetic games. Um, which are firstly oral phonetic games and then we have the object box and then we move on to mobile alphabets, small mobile alphabets and the transition happens so smoothly and so beautifully that they pick up reading um, very beautifully. So for to understand the complete process, I'll have to make another video which will be at least an hour long video. But yeah, basic thing is that we focus on um, not just blending of sounds but understanding as well. And that's why reading comes after writing in a Montessori environment. I hope I answered your question. Okay, yeah, schools are closed uh, due to lockdown. Yes, if they are. Uh, what about new admissions? Okay, so there's no need to worry. Schools are closed. That means even we are struggling with new admissions. These are our peak times when we have admissions, right? So even we are struggling. After things get better, definitely we'll open admissions. And in a Montessori anyway, 
admissions mostly in most monsteries happen around the year basis the age of your child right so don't get worried about that stay with your child enjoy the just um, you can enjoy lockdown but just be ensure that the child is engaged happy and you are at peace with yourself and uh, yeah as far as we can try and uh, make the best use of these moments that you have right now okay how to know a montessori is authentic if you find the answer for that let me know i'm just kidding okay so uh, i did a video on this last week so i'll link it below it's a nine minute long video nine ten minute long video please go through that um quite few of your questions will be answered there so yeah authentic monseri is very important unfortunately dr mario monseri didn't trademark the name and there are many schools that are um, using montessori just in the name of the word so don't fall in the trap see that video i'll put the link in the description box below yeah thank you so much how best can I homeschool a child keeping close to Montessori during lockdown? So I'll read it out one more time. How best can I homeschool the child keeping close to Montessori during lockdown? Okay. Please uh, make one thing very clear uh, in, your, in your mind. You're not homeschooling the child. You're quarantine schooling the child or emergency schooling the child. Homeschooling is very long drawn. You have to plan. They have months and months of planning goes in. A lot of hard work. You need to undergo training of some sorts to work with the child because they need that kind of attention and that kind of um, importance in their life. Like a teacher doesn't become a teacher just by getting up. So yes. Secondly, you're not homeschooling. You're quarantine schooling or emergency schooling. Right now, the best you can do with your child is ensure that they are engaged, happy, and they are in a nice zone, nice frame of mind. That's very important. Secondly, there are a lot of exercise of practical life activities, which I will list down. I'll, I'm listing down the document in the description box below. They will help you. If your child is older, there are many language and math activities which are not formal activities, but they can be done at home. You can do that. Storytelling. There are so many books on Story Weaver, which is Pratham Books, PDF books are available online for free. There's a website called uh, Storyline Online. They have videos by some very famous personalities reading out. And th those are beautiful stories. And if you have storybooks at home, read them out, please, to your child. They will enjoy it. There's nothing like a good book reading. Yeah. I'm planning to admit my son, who will be two years old, in a Montessori school. However, if I have to shift him from a Montessori to a regular school, will he be able to take it? Uh, have heard mixed reviews on this. Okay, so all the non-Montessori parents will uh, suggest you against it. But here's the thing. You will not know really what Montessori is and how it is till you experience it, right? That's the first point. Second point is that if you choose an authentic Montessori and complete that cycle of uh, three to four years, depending on what uh, month uh, your child joins in, um, they, in the, towards the end, they have some kind of an extended session that's what we called or uh, uh, a session where they um, try and make the child's uh, transition smooth into regular school. Uh, I am a Montessori parent. Before I became a Montessori directress, I was a Montessori parent. My daughter is in an elementary Montessori school. She's nine right now. Uh, but I have had her friends who joined regular school and they are doing amazingly well. Um, the teachers are happy, the schools are very happy. So yeah, there's no reason to worry. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that uh, you need to ensure you complete the whole cycle, the whole Montessori cycle. That's very important, right? Yeah, so that was it. Those were all the questions. My, my, it's taken almost 15 minutes for me to answer. That's my longest video yet. Yay! Anyway, um, I'm really missing my children 
for my school children at Islet and hope things go well really soon. And um, to all you parents out there, hang in there. I know you might be getting uh, worked up, might be getting irritated, uh, might be thinking, oh, my child will um, uh, miss out such a long uh, time of the academic year. Don't worry about it. Please don't worry. Uh, it'll all be good and it'll all be for the best and just hang in there let's just stay positive and let's just fight uh together by staying in staying sa safe and washing those hands bye bye and if you like the video if i've answered your questions please subscribe ring the bell and leave a comment i love to leave, uh, read your comments and yeah so that's about it take care see you soon bye bye